TGIF, I'm Heidi Glaus. We're starting what has to be the most unique bed and breakfast we've ever seen. Photojournalist Randy Schwanker took a road trip to Humphreys, Missouri, a small town that people are now pulling into from all over the country. In northern Missouri, we have 240 acres here. Sits a rural farm miles from, well, nowhere. Closest town's 30 miles, basically. It's a place frozen in time. The outhouse still stands. I was born in the east bedroom. Donna Timi born, raised, and inherited this farm. It's about 80 years that they were owners of it, my parents were. Okay. Not a lot has changed in the last 15 years, but Donna has run a B&B &B out of the old house. It started as a house first when my grandma died. Okay. And then um, mom decided she wanted to expand and make another venue. The problem was there was only one house on the property. It was one of mom's wacky ideas. And I mentioned it to my husband and he said why rain a good grain bin to <laughs> put a B&B &B in. That's right, a B&B &B in a grain bin complete with the kitchen sink and a bathroom. Use the bathroom in here just like you was in a modern home now. Look at the outside and they say okay and then they walk in and it's like wow I never expected this. People now come from all over to spend the night in this grain bin. Last week the people flew in to KCI from uh, California, the state of California to stay in the grain bin. They said this is the most peaceful place they, and you don't hear anything that's insulated so well. And then when they call to make a, a reservation, they s say, what's there to do there? And mom always tells them absolutely nothing. And they say, perfect. It has all the modern convenience of a home. Mm, stove, refrigerator, microwave, all oh, TV, dish TV. One guy uh, came up here and he said, who ever heard of a dish TV and a grain bin? It's a two-story structure with living room and bedroom. Took a lot of head scratching to build it. And who stays here? It's coupled usually. I have lots of honeymooners here. They know nobody's going to find them in a grain bin. It's a great place just to take a walk or go fishing. We have guests that come every year just to fish in the pond. We have some fishing poles here that they can use or they can bring their own fishing pole. They can keep their fish. And if, if they will dress their fish, I will fry them for them. So if you're looking to store some memories, check out Granny's Country Cottage. Crazy cool, right? Granny's Country Cottage is open until December, then it shuts down for winter and reopens in the spring. You can find more information at grannyscountrycottage.info, but she prefers you just give her a call. Her number is 660-286-3981.